In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate the import procedure of a specific Virtual Studio scene. We'll see the typical tasks and provide solutions for the possible difficulties occurring during the process. I've created a separate folder for the scene in the Projects folder of Eximetry. Let's enter it. Here you can see a folder named The Midnight Show. This will be the name of the TV show. Inside of it, two further subfolders have been created. One is the model that contains the source file of the model which was created in the 3D Studio Max. The other is the textures where the textures used by the model were placed. Of course, we can use any folder structure to store our source files here. We've rendered a preview image of our studio scene in 3D Studio Max. Let's see it. So this is the look the graphic artists imagined for the studio, and this is what we want to reproduce in Eximetry as close as we can. The export-import process has to be performed through the Collada format. Of course, it can only transfer a fraction of this look, so do not expect a one-click import. Basically, what is transferred automatically is the geometry, of course, the hierarchy of the objects, and the certain base properties of the materials, for example, the base textures and the base color settings. However, we need to work on the following. First is the lighting. We can see that a lot of the light source is used in the scene. Though these light sources can be transferred into Eximetry automatically, where they work as real-time light sources, it is highly ineffective to use this number of real-time lights because of the performance penalty. And what's more important, we won't get the same look in Eximetry as here on the Max render. In fact, we'll see a completely different look. Firstly, in Max, the light sources can have special properties that won't be transferring during the export-import, or are not implemented in Eximetry. Secondly, the sophisticated effects calculated by ray tracing or global illumination in Max won't show up in Eximetry. For example, reddish scattering from the curtains, the soft shadow of the scattering on the ceiling, or the red area light strip here. These can't be reproduced with real-time means within Eximetry, nor can the related extra information be transferred via the export-import process. Therefore, we'll solve the whole lighting problem via rendering light maps for the objects and we'll apply these maps on the materials. The light sources themselves won't be imported at all. It's unnecessary. Instead, in case we want to use some dynamic lighting effect in the scene, for example, we want a shadow for the presenter or any moving object, we can add a dedicated real-time light source for the purpose in Eximetry. So we don't have to add this light source in advance in 3D Studio Max. We can do it later in Eximetry. In case we want to play with the overall light intensity of the studio, for example, we want fading in lighting at the beginning of the show, we won't need a real-time light source either because the intensities of the light maps are controllable within the materials, which is suitable for this task. The next issue we have to deal with is reflection. In this rendered image, they're also calculated with ray tracing method. We won't be able to do this in real time. We'll separate the two types of reflection. One is the real reflection, where by real I mean that if any object or the presenter moves, then their reflected image also moves accordingly. This type of reflection can only be applied on planar surfaces and axisymmetry. We use duplicate rendering for this purpose. This is typically applied on floor surfaces. The other type of reflection is the one appearing on objects with arbitrary shapes. We can see examples of this on these red glowing surfaces where the light sources are reflected a bit, or on these glass surfaces. For this type of reflection, we use the environment map method. The environment map itself can be totally fake containing some blurry image. The only point is that we see some alteration of the reflection when we move the camera. But, if for some reason it's important that the actual studio scene is to be reflected on the surface, we can render the studio from a specific point into an environment map. Then we apply that map on the object. The third issue is the glow effect appearing around the shiny objects. For example, here on the lamps, or on the neons. For this purpose, we'll simply use the special post-processing modules of Eximetry.